Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this video, I'll show you how to use the VTS Test Wizard. The purpose of the Test Wizard is to learn information about your MetaTrader platform. Most importantly, the Test Wizard could be used to open trades in a demo account. If you can successfully open trades with the Test Wizard, then you won't have any problems opening trades when you create your first real trading EA. To start a new test wizard, go to the welcome screen and select create new system and then select test wizard. This will open a window that allows you to name the wizard or you can just take the name that's generated and select OK. This will open the screen that shows the test wizard and all of its steps. There are seven steps. The start step just gives you some information about what's going to happen in the next few screens. To move to the next step, you just click the next button. This brings us to the setup step. The setup step is where we define the files that are needed by VTS to build your expert advisor. The MetaTrader platform, the MetaTrader editor, and the MetaTrader builder. When we click the select button, it comes up with a regular file dialog window where you can navigate to where these files are and you select OK. And then they appear as selected. So we'll go ahead and do this for the editor file now. Select OK. And the editor is set. And now we'll do it for the platform file. Select it. Hit OK. And now we are complete. It says Setup Complete and we could click to move to the next step. The next step is the permission step. In this step, we make sure that VTS can read and write to all the folders that it needs to, to build an EA. So we'll go ahead and click to validate the folders. It runs pretty quickly, and it tells you that it passed, which means you could move on. We'll click next to continue. This is the info step. Here, we could select information that we want to appear on the chart when we attach our EA. When we click this, there are three tabs. One of them is Checkup, and this shows different information that MetaTrader offers that you might want to see. You might want to see if trading is allowed and if it's a demo account. So we click those. Over on Market Info, there's a whole bunch of other information that MetaTrader offers. You might want to know the lot size, maybe the spread, and the tick size. So we'll click those. And finally, there's some account information that you might be curious about for this MT platform. So we'll click account leverage and say OK. And it shows that all these items are selected. And again, these will appear on the chart when we attach our EA. So we'll go ahead and click Next to move to the next step. This is the indicator step. Here we can define some indicators to see what their value turns out to be. Mostly we want to make sure that they're non-zero. That is that the parameters we select for our indicator come out to be a value that's uh, not zero. So I'll go ahead and select an indicator. And these screens are just the way the screens are in the regular VTS. So it gets you kind of familiarized with how we do things. This lists all the parameters for this indicator. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the time frame to 15 minutes. And again, this value will appear on the chart when we attach this EA. And you could add as many indicators as you need right there. Well, now we'll move to the next step, which is the trade step. So here we click a button, and it'll show us what we can do with trades. We can open a trade, we can modify a trade, or we can close a trade. So I'll click Open Trade, and then we'll configure it. And again, this window is the same window that you'll see in VTS when you go to configure the F and Open Order function. And these are all the different parameters that you can select the lot size, the stop loss, the take profit. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the defaults here because they look good for me. I'll say OK and then Done. And it'll show that there's one trade test for opening a trade. I'll click Next to complete this step. And now we're on to the final step, which is Build. So I'll just click the button here, and it builds. And it shows that it built correctly with a big green check mark. And we are pretty much finished with the EA 
test wizard. So we see the complete screen. And now I'll go ahead and open up the platform and attach this EA. And we can see what happens when we run it. If you go over to the Expert Advisors menu, you see Test Wizard 2. That's the wizard we created as an EA. And I'm going to double click that and attach it to this chart. I'll select OK. And there we go. So we did open a trade, a buy trade for one lot. And here's all the information that we selected to see. We have the value of the indicator AD1, uh, the lot size, the tick size. It's a demo account, and trading is allowed. So that's how you use the EA test wizard. And uh, if you have any questions, stop by the site, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.